My name is Ben Kessler. I'm the nursery manager here at Farfields Farm Nursery. We grow local genotype native plants, which we start from seed gathered in the fields and farms around us, and then propagate here in the nursery for home gardeners, retail nurseries, and landscapers all around the area. I'm going to tell you a little bit about one of my favorite grasses. This is Alimus hystrix, or bottle brush grass. It grows in the wild in riparian areas along streams next to other trees like pawpaws and walnuts and sycamores. It grows in the partial shade and the full sun alike. Uh, it gets about three foot, four foot tall, I'd say, at the maximum in late summertime. Starts up green in the late winter, early summer, then evens to a beautiful, lovely bronzy color through the late summertime, puts on a spray of spiky, seed heads in late summer that provides, stays and provides really nice winter interest all through the winter time. It's a really good plant to have for your pollinators in the area, though it does not produce pollen and nectar on its own. It provides habitat and hiding spots for your native bees and skipper butterflies and all sorts of other beneficial garden and lawn friendly critters. So it's a great plant to have to plant alongside uh, maybe you've got a shady spot along the woods or the edge of your garden or the edge of your lawn. Um, really no muss, no fuss plant. Fairly drought tolerant, tolerant of high rains and heavy winds as well. What I recommend most folks do for this or any plant really is water it daily for the first week, weekly for the first month, and monthly for the first year, and then you'll have a plant that will take care of itself indefinitely. Elimus hystrix is hardy, beautiful, a great companion to your neighboring critters in the landscape. And all of those are reasons why I chose this for Plant of the Month.